Yeah. Good. All right. All right. Well, hello. Hi. How you We're doing? all Greg, Luminosity yeah. coach. You got top four in NA with your team, uh, with a top two finish as well. Uh, you got a two-three record on LAN, made it all the way to round five. Are you proud of your boys? I'm, I'm always proud of my boys. I mean, they fought hard to get here. We we fight in a tough region and. Uh, Sad that we couldn't pull it out against Vitality, but you know I'm always proud of what they do. They fought hard today. How did you prepare for this major? We boot camped over at uh, Endpoints facility, and um, I mean just extremely tedious. You know, replay review. We we're doing whiteboard stuff, um, but just let them have fun, preparing them mentally for it too, because this is Cheese's first LAN as well. So with that, there comes challenges as well. MB's been here before. Ruddles have been here before, but. You know, just making sure that they're prepared for what this brings, this environment brings. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because Cheese seemed to have some land jitters. How do you go about that? How do you? Well, I mean, with him, it's just he's never been in this situation before. So it's like it's exploring that, you know, it's explaining to him that this is a new situation and that it's just like at home. But you just got to get into that mentality where it's like, no matter what, we're proud of you. And we just tried to, like, really, really downplay the pressure a little bit. And I think that we did a good job of that after we went down 0-2, but the first couple series, were they were tough. And the Luminosity team has an assistant coach as well, Kev Britt. Yeah. How does he go, get into the team? Like, what does he do for the players and for you? Uh, he does everything. Team? I mean, he's, he's like my right-hand man. So without Kev Pert, we wouldn't be here. Um, without Kev Pert, I wouldn't be me. So tactically, he helps me a ton. Um, he prepares kickoffs for me. But I mean, the list of things he does is, it's like, it's endless, but um, He's not an analyst, he's just an assistant coach. He's just my second guy. I assume you looked at the international teams before coming here. How do uh, you analyze their gameplay? Well, a lot of it was just seeing like what Europe was doing, um, seeing like a lot of tendencies that Complexity and Furia had from like Sam, and um, seeing what it was like similar to last year. And then OCE and uh, Mina and APAC is just looking at like once we scrim them, hey, what are their tendencies? How are they gonna play? Um, what's the overall look of them? But we really want to enforce our play style, which is my belief in this game, is that you don't really know what Swiss is going to bring you. So playing our play style is the most important thing and being able to enforce that and then adapt to how they adjust to us. You had two really long days. Yesterday was really rough, matching up against both South American yeah. teams, uh, losing to both. How do you recover from such a day? Sleep. Yeah, sometimes you just have to go to sleep. You have to, you have to talk about it as a team and say, hey, that wasn't us yesterday. Those are our little brothers playing. But today we woke up with a new mentality. And like I said, we just we went out there and we were like, you know what, backs against the wall. We're going to go to round five. That's what we always do. We've had quite a journey here in the past two days. Maybe a little bit early, but what's next for Luminosity? What's next for Luminosity? Hey, we're going to enjoy the rest of our weekend in Copenhagen. You know, we're going to prepare. We're going to go over the replays that we had to do because, you know, I love my guys. We want to stick together and we want to do this thing the right way. So. Prepare, you know, have fun in Copenhagen, but then get ready for a major two split. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate you. All right.